Let's talk about the types of strokes. We have ischemic and hemorrhagic stroke. When thinking of an ischemic stroke, you want to think blockage. This blockage can be from a blood clot, air, or a fat embolism that gets stuck, which blocks blood flow. These blockages get stuck in a blood vessel and prevent oxygen-rich blood from getting to the brain tissue. The bottom line is that in an ischemic stroke, we're worried about ischemia, which is lack of oxygen and nutrients to the brain, hence the name ischemic stroke. Now, for a hemorrhagic stroke, you want to think bleeding. This bleeding happens when an artery ruptures, commonly from a ruptured artery, an aneurysm, uncontrolled high blood pressure like hypertension. What happens is blood leaks into the surrounding brain tissue. Not only can this bleeding cut off blood supply, leading to ischemia, but it also can cause increased intracranial pressure. Bottom line, in hemorrhagic stroke, we're worried about bleeding, increased pressure in the skull, and possibly secondary ischemia from poor blood flow. Now, a major NCLEX tip is to always identify the type of stroke before starting treatment. We do this with a CT scan. The treatment for an ischemic and hemorrhagic stroke are very different. Treatment for an ischemic stroke is thrombolytic therapy, also called clot busters. These are medications that end in ACE, like Activase and Strep kinase. If you gave a clot buster to a patient having a hemorrhagic stroke, it would make the bleeding worse and could be fatal. The main treatment for a hemorrhagic stroke is to stop the bleeding and prevent further increased intracranial pressure. That's all for types of strokes. You can find more information like this in the complete nursing school bundle. Happy studying future nurses.